squash tail real bad. Alright y'all, we made it through that. Let's go. I had to stop recording and grab the headlamp and couldn't quite see the water, but I'll tell you this much, it was about an inch from my runner board. That was a close call. Let's roll out. gonna finish the first day of hunts over with just got through with the evening hunt go ahead and walking out right now we're gonna head back to camp cook up some chicken drums and uh, get up bright and early zero four tomorrow Well, we got another morning hunt underway, and uh, we just finished up getting out of the stand, of course. Got blown by a couple of whitetail. Gotta love it. These deer out here are frustrating, man. It's like they know, they know what's going on. They know what's gonna happen. They are just, they're so pressured. Hunting, you know, national forest whitetail. This ain't, this ain't the damn deer in your backyard. This ain't the deer in a high fence. This ain't even the deer in your lease that never gets shot at, maybe gets shot at once in his entire life. These deer out here, they are freaking scarce. They are pressured. And this is just some hard damn hunting. I'm actually gonna come back out this afternoon while I do my evening sit. I think we might come out earlier and sit for longer if we can. This depends, it's just so damn hot. Hell, it's already 10 o'clock and I'm starting to sweat in the damn blind. Start sweating, start stinking. Ah, it's frustrating. Snake whisperer out here. We got us a king snake running across the road. This is the last evening hunt. I'm gonna ease in here and got a cold front moving in. It's gonna be down into the 60s. It's gonna be dropping 20 degrees in the next couple of hours. So let's get in here, sit down, be quiet, and then let's get into here. Wasn't stopping either. 